This is Gene Key, SkySurf News. The Associated Press reports an autistic teenager wandered away from his family during an outing at White Sands National Monument in New Mexico and spent the night among the sand dunes has been found. Monument officials say the 15-year-old was spotted Monday morning by a U.S. Air Force Black Hawk helicopter. He was walking in the dunes about six miles from where he was last seen. Authorities say he was in good condition. The El Paso team and his family had spent Sunday sledding and picnicking at the Southern New Mexico Monument. At about 3 p.m., the family realized he wasn't with the group. The search was given high priority due to the teen's autism and the impending darkness. More than 100 searchers, including state police, the U.S. Border Patrol, and the U.S. Air Force, were involved in the all-night operation. From the Galveston County Daily News, a 15-year-old girl turned the table on a pair of intruders early Saturday afternoon, approximately 1 p.m. Texas City Police received a call from the girl saying there was somebody trying to get into her house in the 7300 block of Meadowlark. She was home by herself in the bathroom. When she called, she was hysterical, according to the Texas City Police. The teen said she heard the front door jiggle, and when she looked out, she saw two men standing there. The girl called her father, her aunt, and the police. Then she got her father's handgun and went outside. One of the men had gone into the garage and was attempting to steal a pickup. The girl did not know where the other one was. She confronted the man in the garage, and he ran away, heading east on Meadowlark. He was followed by his accomplice, who had been inside searching the house. From WFAA.com, at least two Texans were among the 140 Americans on board that Italian cruise ship that ran aground late Friday night, and they are safe. Steve Garcia's parents live in San Antonio. They were stunned to learn their son was aboard the ill-fated Costa Concordia when it hit bottom and turned on its side. Garcia is traveling with his partner, Blake Miller. Garcia managed to call his mother, Christine Garcia, after the accident. She said he sounded very, very concerned. He says, I'm going to be okay. He says all their clothes were on the ship. Their money is on the ship, just with what they had. Christine Garcia admitted that she was so glad to hear her son's voice, she forgot to ask many questions. Her son is currently staying at a hotel in Rome. He is a school teacher at Deer Park Middle School in Round Rock, an Austin suburb. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search Gene Key or SkyServe News. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.